Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of the pawn game. In this video we are going to set up the background of our game and we are going to create the ball scene. And let's start with the background by adding a sprite node to our main level. And make sure to move it to the top. Let's rename it to background. And in the assets folder, we have background.png. Click and drag to the texture of the sprite. And make sure to uncheck center it. And like that, we have our background set it. It have exactly the same size of our screen. So when we go here, we can check the size of our image, which is have the same height and width of our screen. But if you choose another screen resolution, you can change and resize that image until you make it have the same size of your screen. But in our case, you don't need to do that. Now, after finishing with the background, let's create the ball scene by clicking on Add New Scene, Other Node, and I'm going to choose Kinematic Body 2D for it. Rename it to Ball. And again, I'm going to add a sprite and the collision shape to default. For the sprite, under the assets folder, we have the ball.png. We need to click and drag to the texture. And for the collision shape 2D, I'm going to select the circle shape 2D. We need to resize it like this. And save it. Now we need to create an instance of the ball in the main level. Select main level and select ball. But the ball it's very big and that's why we need to go back to the ball scene and select ball and we need to scale it under transform. So for the X I'm gonna set it to 0.3 and for the Y point and save it and now when we go back to the main level our ball it's much smaller now so let's run the game and now everything is good our play is moving the background is perfect and the ball is here but the ball is not moving yet and that's why we need to add a script for the ball by clicking on attach new script create and here is where we are going to write some line of code to make the ball moving but before that I want to set the position of the ball exactly in the middle so I go back to the main level and select ball and under transform I want to set the X position to uh, 1280 divided by 2 and the Y position to 720 divided by 2. I like that it is exactly in the middle. And now let's go back to the script of the ball and start coding. As the player, the ball will need speed, which I will set it to 600 and also it will need a velocity which is a vector to initialized to zero and now i'm going to start creating a function that will initialize the board direction every time the game starts so func initialize bar direction and it will have two variables so the first one is the x-ray which will have two variables minus one and one and the second is the y-array which will have minus 0.5 and 
5. Now I'm going to set the velocity.x to x array random modulate by 2. And random modulate by 2 will give us 0 or 1. So every time we start the game, the velocity.x will have a value of minus 1 or 1. And we need to do the same thing for the velocity dot y. So y ray random modulate by two. And at the top we need to call randomize. So every time we start the game, we will not have the same random values. And here is where we are going to call our initialize ball direction function. It will be in the ready function. So every time we start the game, we call that function, which will give the ball the direction. And next, in the physics process, is where we are going to make our ball move. So, func physics process. And we need to call move and collide velocity times speed times delta. And let's run the game. Perfect. The ball is moving, but it's run out of the screen, and uh, we don't want that. So, for this, I'm gonna create some static body around the screen that the ball will bounce to these walls. Now we need to select main lever and select static body 2D and the static body 2D will need a collision shape 2D and for the collision shape I'm going to select new rectangle shape 2D and uh, set its length for 1280 divided by 2 and for the position of the static body I'm going to go to transform and set the x position to 1280 divided by 2. And for the y, I'm going to leave it to 0. Now we need to rename it to top wall. And we're going to need a wall for the bottom. So we'll click top wall and press Ctrl D to duplicate it can click and drag or we can simply go to transform and set the x position to uh, 1280 divided by 2 and for the y position 720 but it's a little bit inside of the screen and that's why I'm going to set it to 730 and rename it to bottom wall and now we're going to need uh, walls for the left and the right side so add static body 2D rename it to left side and uh, we're going to add collision shape 2D for it and again it's a new rectangle shape 2D and we're going to set its length for 720 divided by 2 and for its rotation it's 90 degree and for its position it's going to be 720 divided by 2 and we need to duplicate that control D 
and rename it to right side and let's change the position to uh, 1280 for the X and like that we have static bodies all over uh, the screen and let's run the game the bot is not getting out of the screen but it's not bouncing yet and that's why we are going to need to uh, go to the script and make the ball bounce but first of all we need to check if the ball is colliding or not so var colliding equal move and collide and if colliding is true we are going to make the ball bounce so velocity velocity uh, equal to velocity dot bounce colliding dot normal and let's run the game and we have an error oh, it's normal I must click here and run the game again perfect the ball is bouncing it's colliding with the walls and with the player everything is working perfectly so this is it for part two I hope you learned much from it and see you in the next part.